to his OJ, everyone's favorite Nigerian. This that real life shit, nigga. All right, so this is so music podcast. So we're gonna talk about Don Tolliver, Love Sick, the trippy Houstonian who's fit in perfectly with mentors. Travis Scott's label comes back with an album littered with songs seemingly dedicated to girlfriend Callie Uchis. Every falsetto seemed to align perfectly on the project with very minimal low notes. He's added to an already very stacked catalog for a very young career. But before we talk about it more, let's listen a little bit. What you got? Think of this project when it first came out, man. I mean, I've always been a big Don Tolliver fan in general, so when he was dropping this project, I felt like he would continue his ascension. Um, just coming off of the past two projects, um, yeah, I, Lovesick is dope, man. Lovesick's really dope. Um, I just feel like he's able to like curate these vibes like he gets you into like a certain zone like immediately like he's just dope man Don Tolliver is really dope with the melodies and the runs he goes on like you can tell he's really working on his craft and he gets a little bit better every every time he drops too so yeah. I, I would say Don Tolliver he's unique without feeling like he's trying to be unique which is what I feel like is his best like you know Attribute to him, where it's like you, you, you put that shit on, you know it's Don Tolliver. Facts. Like there ain't nobody that sound like Don Tolliver, but his sound is very Houston. Like he's very true to like where he came from, and yep. and you could hear in Travis Scott's music as well, and you could tell that Travis Scott touches like almost all of Don Tolliver's music. You could hear his ad-libs, you could hear the production. Yeah. And it just it's seamless, bro. Yeah. So yeah, nah, I fucked with it immediately, but um. I'm interested to see uh, what you thought was like the best song. Uh, the best song is the song I actually ended up posting for song of the day. So I picked uh, Cinderella with uh, Toro Imoy. Okay, Toro Imoy. Yeah, Imoy. Right, let's Imoy. listen a little bit. Yeah, that's my shit right there. H Town, what up? All the Naija babes out there. <laughs> It's a love letter It's some things that I do But I won't say I do You should get to know me better But it's way too many things That I put you through She let the ears at my house She thinks she's Cinderella She braid my hair and roll my back And roll my sugar And hey, she don't know about that pain So I can never feel her I let that cold and shit in rain Until I hit that pillow Lord Jesus, I got a new thesis to go and get that bag and sit back on the I'm about to ask you how you feel or why you like the song so much. But first, I think it's very dope that the Kings fans are just giving them a standing ovation after finally they making the playoffs. Yeah. After who knows how long taking the uh, defending champs to, champs to seven. That shit fire, bro. Yeah. But um, back to this song. Why? Why Cinderella? Yeah, the Kings deserve that shit, man. They they worked their ass off this year, and it's been what almost almost twenty years, if not years. So yeah, they deserve standing up, even if it came up short. But man, Cinderella. Um, I think it was just sonically at first that's what like grabbed my attention with it just like a lot of his songs can sound fairly similar but i think this song kind of broke the mold a little bit with i don't know just like with the 808s and just like the bass and everything like how they cut it out at first and it's just like his voice and then you know the beat drops um but then it's just like overall just like the messaging on the song too 
like how it's like a, a little bit of like a <laughs> I, I feel like it's very representative of a lot of relationships today where it's like uh, I want you to be mine but you're not really mine though you know what I mean so and like she leaving some shit behind thinking she's Cinderella thinking she's slick like yeah you know what I mean I don't know I, I women do be bro. finding reasons to come back they bro. love they love yeah. to spin the block on us oh did I leave did I leave such and such at your spot boy yeah you did you knew you knew you, you knew, did though come on now you knew you did <laughs> That's how you know if I don't fuck with you, I'll be like, nah, you you ain't leaving. Nah, yeah. I don't it's see not it. In here. I don't yeah. see it. What are you talking about? <laughs> you sure? Nah, it's not over here. Wrong nigga. I'm yeah. sorry. No, I was with you yesterday. <laughs> nah, no, no, don't recollect. I don't recollect. I don't recall. What was your uh what was your favorite song, bro? If I had featuring Charlie Wilson. Mm. I got Uncle Charlie. I get happy just thinking about playing it. <laughs> like it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I was smiling listening to this joint yesterday too. Those motherfucking scents, my nigga, like, ooh. I could listen to that every day for the rest of my life if I had to. I'm not. I'm not even on front. It's just one of those songs that just connect with me sonically, lyrically, everything about it. I just fuck with it extremely heavy. Yeah, I was gonna say like his feature selection on this, and just in general, he 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 always surprises me with certain shit. Like I was like, damn, he got chose a record with Uncle Charlie. Yeah, man. I don't know what that's gonna sound like with Don T? So. Man. And you know Charlie Wilson gonna kill it every time, bro. Every time, bro. Every fucking time. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna send the volume back up now. <laughs> Wait, it's Phyllis. It's that real life shit, nigga. Think this is uh his best project and if not what would you consider his best project i think it has to be uh i think it has to be because i you know what i just recognized is uh like you you played no actually no 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 that, that was the intro you played never mind but i was just thinking that he dropped the deluxe for this project too and that shit was fire too. So yeah, yeah, I did play a song from the deluxe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. I think this probably has. To, this is his best overall project, and I know we about to get into like you know, what we like, what we didn't like. But yeah, this had the least amount of skips on it out of anything I've heard. From it. Cold, cold ass project. Mm. <laughs> if I had, get your ass out of here, Charlie. You already got it. You look, he hit no just now. I was like, wait, was it Henry? <laughs> I don't remember that in the song. Try to gas me. I know I can't sing. Bro. All right. What song are you deleting, bro? What song I'm deleting? Yeah. I had, I only had three songs that I would have deleted, but out of those three, um, I would say Go Down with the Tisa Curry. What? Did not like that song. What? You ain't like this? This shit was really. fire to me, bro. I'm not even going front. I'm not even going front. What didn't you like about it? I just had it on while I was... I mean, I've listened to it a couple times, but it's been some months before this dropped. But yeah. I played it yesterday, and while I was listening to it again and running it back, like, 
like I said, the three that I said I would take off, those were the ones where it was just like it didn't it didn't move me at all. It didn't give me okay. a reaction at all. Like I wasn't bopping because when Don T cut on, typically like I'll start vibing. You, know, you roll the windows down a little bit, you know what I mean? You start you start you know feeling yourself. But these this song, I don't know. It was just whatever. I feel like this song is definitely a like windows down moment, especially if you got a girl in the car with you, bro. That's just me. That's music is very subjective, but yeah, I'm shocked. I'm shocked at what you would delete. The song I would delete. I was between two songs. I want to hear the other songs you were considering deleting too. But okay, go ahead. I was between um, "Leave the Club" and "Private Landing." Okay. And eventually, I landed on "Leave the Club," just because I could only listen to Glow Villa's verse once and think that shit hard. I actually. After- when I was re-listening to this, I forgot she was on here. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, I just don't think that's one with her and Dirk, right? Yeah, okay. I, I just thought like she didn't really like fit the song, and what she was saying in it just was not for me. Yeah. Just, it just ain't for me. Hey, look, if she wants dick after the club, that's all her. <laughs> that's nothing. That's never gonna be something I want. <laughs> I'm sorry, this nigga, man. but um. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> let, let the let the female MCs sing yeah. about. And but it's, it's the same way niggas talking about they want pussy after the club too. Ex- look, that's fine. That's fine. And I said <laughs> it's okay for her to rap that shit, but I personally ain't trying to hear that after the first time. It's like, ah, right, you know okay. what? Let me skip now. That's fair. You know? Yeah. It's not for us. Yeah, we got the audience. Exactly. Yeah. It ain't for me. It yeah. ain't for me. That that's why I would delete. I it. fuck with Glow Really though. Yeah. And then private landing was just cause I feel like they fumbled the Bieber feature. Yeah. So, someone should have told him to go back into the studio. What about it specifically? I remember you tweeting that initially, and I think I said something. You said it wasn't because of that. I don't know what you thought of it. It was just arranged like he just went in and like oh, yeah. freestyled some shit and just was repeating shit over and over again. And it was just like, bro, this is the same nigga that was going off on Maria. I'm drunk. Mm. Like y'all remember that? Hold on, let me let me pull up Maria. Man, I'm hold drunk. up, just in case y'all forgot what the Biebs can do on the hip hop track, bro. Yeah, be real nice with it, man. Uh- This nigga, oh my god, not this nigga, but this guy, this guy Justin Bieber, he this can Cana- go, this Canadian, Canadian man, he could go off when he needs to, bro. Someone should have told him, bro. Should have played this as a reference for himself. All right, so you hear that, yeah, and then you go to we, we private landing. Contrast that with or compare it with, which is a great song, by the way. Future always going crazy. Yes, I'm straining, it just felt lazy, bro. Like. It's like, what are we doing, bro? What are we doing? It sounded like he just punched in and just said, like, random, just, like, one-liners. That just rhymed. But it had nothing, no correlation. Yeah, that's, like, what, that's what, what I'm saying, doing? bro. And nigga went off forever, too. I was just like, damn, he's still going? Now he's just repeating what Don Tolliver said in the beginning of the song. He's like, come on, bro. But that, let me not hate too much, but... Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's why I wasn't fucking with it. We could get Be- Beeves can get a, he can have one off day. You don't miss too much. Okay, we give him the AD tre- treatment. Yeah, he, he's allowed to not be, you know, yeah. every day go going. I think, I think he's earned that. He's been in the game since he was what eight years old. Yeah, some shit. Hella long. That's crazy. Child stars, bro. So what are the songs? What are the songs, man? Oh, the other songs yeah, I didn't man. like. Um, which is funny because you didn't say them either. So now I'm trying to see what you're going to think. So the other two was a Leather Coat and, what? A, and Encouragement. Okay. Encouragement. The, the outro, I think. I, right? I didn't show too much on Encouragement. But I feel like Leather Coat, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. You ain't like this song? 
See, I don't even remember this. Like, all the other songs, I remember them right away, bro. Like, within the first five seconds. Man, that's crazy. That's wild. Encouragement. That's the thing with Don Tolliver, and maybe that's why I like I'm so it's encouraging. Yeah, it is encouragement. I don't remember this one. Those are, those are wild picks, my boy. Who the hell encouraged them? I guess you heard them. He got too many Okay, this song is actually this song is better than um Leather Coat. Leather Coat for sure. I actually remember that song. Okay. But I think that's the gift and the curse for me personally with Don Tolliver, where it's like his songs are so catchy. That before he even like spits any vocals, like within the first five seconds, I already know what the song is, bro. Yeah. And with those ones, it threw me off a little bit where I didn't have that same effect. So it fell down the ladder for me. So that was it. Everything else is damn near flawless. Mm-hmm. Like, don't tee that guy. All right. What about the rating out of 10? The rating. Yeah. Yes, sir. We already know, you know, I'm not new to this shit. We don't do no point fives. No halves, bro. Ain't no half step. Be real. Ain't no Be real. Half it's that real crook. life shit, nigga. Pick a side, nigga. Um, I had to end up on eight out of ten just because there was those three tracks I didn't like. Okay. If it would have been only two, I might have been able to get a nine out of ten for like 16 tracks. Okay. So I, I landed at eight out of ten, but it's a great album, bro. It's a great album. I'm not going to front. I chose like songs to delete just because like that's the name of the game. What you gotta do? Yeah, but I really I I could you know go through it top to bottom, no problem. Mm, no skips. No skips. Really. Wow. Really. But I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. Okay. I I don't think I could go higher than nine currently. Okay. Because after that, then it's just a different territory. But yeah, I'm giving it a nine out of ten. This shit so far to me is the best project of 2023. Mm. Um. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I really ain't got Damn. I ain't got too many complaints. Yeah, and I, I respect that too, because once you go ten out of ten, then you pretty much saying that that shit is a classic. Yeah. I, I'm not saying it could not be. It could grow into a ten. But we not there. We not there. <laughs> like it's like, like a little bit too much dip on your chip. Yeah, I need, I need to give it like so, at least a year. Yeah, yeah. Especially with these like melodic ass niggas, you never know when shit's gonna get played out for you. But man, like yeah, this shit up there. This shit up there. So you got this as your top. Project this year, so far, yeah, so far, yeah. Why is there a different project that you? Would I take? got it. Right now, I got honestly, it's both, both the projects that Hit Boy was very involved in. Those are my two. So I got Hit Boy Surfer Drown his project, and then I got the one with him, Music Soul Child. That's what I had so far. I so like, far. I like both of those projects, but I think I listen to them each like two or three times. Okay, yeah, this one been in rotation for me. 